Hello everybody, Elric Ferris, Motherboards.org. Welcome back once again to our YouTube channel. Well, many people like to buy high-end graphics cards for their PC to play all the greatest games, but some people don't really have that much money. And for those people, Sapphire has a solution. This is the new Sapphire HD 5550 card. This card has one gigabyte of DDR2 memory, can use Crossfire X, and is priced at about $90, which is a great intro price for people looking for an entry-level VGA card. So let's take a look at some of the specs, how well this card does, and at the end of the day, if it's worth your money as the end user to purchase it. All right, so here's what comes in the actual retail box of the new Sapphire HD 5550. What you get is the new Sapphire Ultimate Passive Silent Cooling HD 5550, which is the card here. You get the graphics card quick installation guide. You get the driver's installation CD with a little sticker for the front of your case if you so want it, and some important installation instructions for those who live in other countries. Okay, so some new features of this new Sapphire card. It features one gigabyte of DDR2 memory. This isn't the fastest memory that there is, but it's still good for an entry level video card that comes in under $100. You get their new ultimate passive silent cooling. It's a heat pipe mixed with a heat sink that takes the heat and dissipates it away from the CPU. Those are some of the major features. On the rear I.O., you get a single DVI, a single HDMI, and a single VGA connection. The card can be used in a Crossfire connection, but not really in a Crossfire X connection, as it says in the box, because there are no Crossfire pins in the top to do multiple cards. So you can do two of these cards in Crossfire, but not really Crossfire X, like it says in the box, just to clarify. So those are the features of the card. It's not a bad card. For an entry-level card, it's very small, very compact, and the actual cooling solution does work. 